Well, hello. We're at Fort Frederick 2019. Um, it's really, really starting to like become a happening place, although we're all trying to like not be blown away here. And um, I am turning the camera on. State your name for the lovely people. Andrea Amy of Amy's Adornments. Hi. Hi. All right. So you have just, you, you guys basically specialize in 18th century bling, right? Yes. 18th mm -hmm. century jewelry reproductions. Yes. I research them off of portraits and written materials. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the originals that I can find. Yes, awesome. So how did you get started? I went to school um, way, uh, oh gosh, a long time ago, <laughs> and I uh, went to school for jewelry making and repair, and that's how I got into this. It's cool. my job in the modern world. Nice. Also. Oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah. So you get to basically do what you love, yes. like both. play with bling all the time. Yes. <laughs> hey, well, that, that sounds incredible. Yeah. Great, great. Awesome. So what would you say is your favorite piece that you have ever made. Is it anything here or anything? Yes, yes. I think it's the Georgian heart brooch. Oh, okay. Um, I had the documentation for the original and mm -hmm. I I kept it in my um, library of info Good. for a couple of years and then I decided it was time to bring that out. So cool. yeah. I have over 13 hours of work in it and mm -hmm. I'm proud of it. Awesome, yeah. So, um, so how like how do you go about research for your uh, jewelry? You do probably use obviously like paintings, primary yes. uh, documents, and everything. Written words. Sometimes I yes. know it's sort of bleak to read, but mm -hmm. um, I did find out that a particular stone that I thought was a modern stone, white sapphire, yes. was actually in a description of a brooch that I found. So oh, now yes. I use white sapphires. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. So what other pieces do you? Have? have in the works. I have a convertible earring design in the works, a day and night earring. Nice. I'm not going to say too much about it. Right. Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so cool. And um, talk a little bit about this um, gold bead necklace here. The gold here. bead necklace oh, is um, my earliest piece uh -huh. and it's um, from the 1750s, yeah. mm -hmm. and when I found the documentation, I thought it looked a lot like something that uh, mm -hmm. I had worn in the 1980s. So okay, um, there, yeah, let's hey. old is new again. So. I, oh, you know what, girl? I just did a lecture on cosmetics through the ages, and you'd be people are so surprised at things like hair color and yes. all, like even oh, like really funky looking hair color. They think that's a modern <laughs> thing, and yes. a lot of what people think is a modern thing, it's really it really is not. You know? Not, know. So yeah, it's been done in Save some. For a while and it'll come back. So. Exactly. All right. What about this Baroque pearl pendant here? The Baroque pearl pendant is a lot like the earrings that I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. um, they loved pearls. Yes. Pearls were, um, you couldn't wear enough of them mm -hmm. in the 18th century. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whether they were uh, faux pearls or natural. Natural, yes. Wow. So, all right. And where can people find you on the interwebs? They can. Um, the 21st century. The 21st century. You can email me <laughs> mm -hmm. at um, my email address and I'll give that to you to post. Great. Yes, and, absolutely. Uh, I do not have a website at the mm -hmm. moment, but. Um, oh, and there's the other half of the business. Stay tuned for Etsy. <laughs> so. and Etsy All right. Shop. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Well, we're looking forward to it and definitely yeah. keep us posted because. Thanks so much. All right. Tiffany. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. And yes, I will catch you all later um, because we're just getting started. So, all right.